Hello YouTube, this is Kenneth now 1619 and today I'm going to show you how to use Motion Enjoy to connect your PS3 controller to your PC. Now, first we're going to do is open up our browser. Type in your search bar Motion Enjoy. It's going to be your first link. Now, once in the website, Gonna head over to the top where it says version 6.0 available. Gonna hit the download link. Scroll down just a little bit. It's gonna say version 6.4, 32 and a 64 bit. Now, if you don't know what bit you're running, hit the little window start button. Right click computer, hit properties. Under system type, it should show your operating system, either 32 or 64. Now, once you figure that out, uh, click the appropriate link, download it, make sure you got this program, WinRAR, double click this, yes, okay, I already installed it, so, this is going to be the little wizard, installation wizard. Once you got that done, two things are going to open up. Uh, your browser is going to open up with a page. We'll close that if you want. Now, what you're going to do is going to connect your, your PS3 controller to your computer. And you hear a noise. If you don't hear noise, don't worry about it. It's probably just because I already loaded the drivers. Either way, you're going to head over to Driver Manager and you're going to have these drivers that aren't loaded yet. You're going to click them both, hit Load Driver, wait a couple seconds. Um, don't freak out if um, you feel like nothing's happening or up at the top it says not responding like so. It's just installing them. So once that's done, you're going to scroll down and it's going to say, um, you know, install Motion Enjoy Driver successfully or whatever. So once that's done, you're going to head over to Profiles. I'm going to show your controller is connected. Show I'm charging. I think that's what it, that is. Hit vib Vibration Testing. You should feel some vibration. Now to uh, customize your controller settings, your gamepad buttons and whatnot. So they work better for Battlefield 3. You're going to hit gamepad button all the way down to you hit your uh, gamepad. Now when you hit your uh, analog sticks, your L and R's, you're going to hit gamepad axis. Don't worry about the these, just leave them as their default. Now you leave these four blank. Give it a simple name. Let's just name PS3. Hit enable. Now head over to profiles again. Hit enable again. Make sure it's still connected. You know, make sure it's still vibrating. You're gonna open up your game controller panel here. You're gonna hit properties. Now you're gonna move your F, your uh, L and your R. Now this is all that should be moving for the most part. Pressing all the buttons. All right. So now to hook up your uh, Bluetooth, you're gonna head over to Bluetooth pair. Make sure it's displaying Bluetooth adapter. And it's not asking, you know, or it's not saying, it's not displaying waiting for Bluetooth adapter to be connected. Your uh, DualShock should be here as well. And hit pair now. Now, these zeros should be a bunch of random letters and numbers. Now, my Bluetooth, my Bluetooth adapter isn't working, but let's see if I can get it to work real quick. Hopefully, praying that it'll work. Give it a couple seconds after you turn off your adapter. Now there's going to be shortcut keys, your function key, and 
for my computer, which is a G74SX, it's going to be F2. So function F2. Turn it back on. Give it a couple seconds. All right, let's try it again. Yeah, mine ain't working, but it should work for yours. Now, after you get a bunch of these random letters and numbers, when you hit pair now, you can go ahead and disconnect your uh, PS3 from a USB cable. You're going to hear uh, two noises. Uh, first one's going to indicate it's disconnect. Second one's reconnect. Head over to profiles again. Hit vibration. It's still vibrant and you're still connected. And then open up your game controller and make sure you know everything's still working. Nothing's, there's nothing wrong with it. Now you want to head over to options. You want to just click this little box which says um, it'll turn off your controller after six minutes when you're using Bluetooth. Now the reason I want you to, you know, or recommend you to just click this button is when you're playing, if you're in a game, let's say you walk away for six minutes, come back, and your controller is turned off, when you turn it back on, your game is not going to recognize your controller. You're going to have to relaunch your entire game for it to um, recognize your controller again. So I recommend you just, just check that. So you don't have to uh, keep on relaunching your game and uh, place it in system tray when you click X button. So it's not technically closed it's in your system tray. You want to right click and click exit. Alright guys, this is going to conclude our uh, video on how to connect your PS3 controller to your PC with um, or using Motion Enjoy. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. And um, you guys feel free to send a couple of video game requests on Battlefield 3. And um, thank you very much.